Hello, welcome to our series on SAP S4 HANA Financial Accounting and Controlling. In our previous video, we looked at how we can process down payment requests and even down payments. In this video, we are going to look at how we can process supplier invoice. So first off, you click on create supplier invoice. But specifically for today, we are going to look at how to pack invoice. A packed invoice is simply an incomplete invoice or an invoice that has been saved in the system but not yet posted. So for instance, you've created an invoice and you want to be sure or confirm certain things before you post. You can save it in the system or you can pack it. So um, in the create supplier screen, we enter our details. In the basic data, we have, to, we have transaction. So in this case, it's an invoice. So we leave it like that. And when you drop down, we have credit memo, subsequent debit, subsequent credit. We are dealing with invoice. So. Then we have the company code, which has already been defaulted. We want to use 1710, so we are not changing it. Then we have gross invoice amount. So this is where you enter the invoice amount. 2000. And you choose your document date. This is when we use 16. And our reference. In our reference. Now we, the invoicing party is the supplier who um, we are who is invoicing the company. So we have previous examples. We've been using the talent enterprise. So just talent enterprise. So we here to we left out our currency. So we quickly add the currency. This scenario we are using Ghana City. Then we scroll down. In this case, we are not using a reference from a purchase order, we are doing a direct finance invoice. So we scroll down and put in the GL accounts that we want the invoice to, or the expense accounts we want to process the invoice with. So click here, add a GL account. So here it's already defaulted debit. Then we choose a GL account. So in this instance, we choose our GL, which is office supplies. Because our down payment that we did was for um, office stationery. So we search for office supply, you can search for it here. Choose office supplies. Put in your amount, 2,000. Office station. Scroll down. Drop this down to then you put in your task code. Select as exempt, which in your jurisdiction. Then 
we scroll down a bit and put in our cost center or the department. Jump down, search, select your cost center. Further go down. Okay, after so entering all your parameters, you can click on simulate. So simulate will show us the lines which we are posting to. So we are making an invoice or we are creating an invoice to um for an invoice for talent enterprise. And it is its corresponding account or its offset account is the office supplies. So we click back and we click on pack to pack our documents. So it says invoice. 5100065 back. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you in our next video.